in the mountain hut at Barn Alp. Um, it's quiet. I've always wanted to stay in a hut. Um, I think it's a really interesting way of getting, getting into the mountains and also it's a great chance to interact with people. I think I really always like the fantasy about it, like hiking through the mountains and then spending the night um, kind of like with the locals, eating local cuisine, and just being immersed in the mountains. I think it's almost the closest, or for me at least, like, it's almost the closest that you can get to feeling what life is really like in the mountains. Like, I think it's different if you camp with a tent, because that somehow always feels fleeting and temporary. I love how connected you feel with nature when you use a tent, but somehow being in a house, it just, you can almost imagine what it's like to live there. There's huts where you can go and stay for accommodation, but there's places where people live. I mean, it's very rare to see a mountain in Switzerland that has no structure on it. There's always some kind of house in the distance. You can see the fire, and the smoke coming out the chimney. There's always cows. <laughs> I think that's the one certainty in Switzerland. No matter where you go, there's always cows. Um, and people just live there. They just live in the mountains. Yeah, so. Somehow the mountain hut makes me feel a little bit closer to those people living more remotely in Switzerland.
this is the final bit to get to the sunset summit which is just over here for us to enjoy a nice sunset view We've reached the top to watch the sunset and the view is really stunning. So Lucerne would be out here behind us and then down here is Van Alpzee and then all the way here are the mountains and I don't know if you can see it over there but we have, we even have the moon. So it was an interesting hike over some snow fields but uh, definitely worth it. Morning. I'm out on an early morning walk this morning. I woke up predictably once again super early before everyone else did. Uh, yeah, so I just decided to take a bit of a walk. Um, see if I can catch the sunrise. So I think the sunrise should be coming up, or the sun should be coming up like behind the mountain here, so I'm quite keen to see it. Although I don't know if I will because it's really cloudy. I've been absolutely captivated by the mountains here. Like if you can see behind me, so a hut was somewhere below. But the folds of these mountains are really beautiful. I was trying to do a bit of research to figure out what kind of mountains they were. Because I know that they're made from sedimentary rock. You can see that from, from the different layering. Essentially, the Swiss Alps were formed by the African plate moving up into the European plate um, and that collision pushed the Alps up to form. So if you look carefully, you can see these areas where the fold almost comes completely over. Um, so that there, I think, is called an overthrust. If uh, grade 12 geography <laughs> comes back at me at all. And I was also really curious about the type of rock that this is. So I know it's sedimentary rock, but I wanted to know a little bit more about the geological composition. I've discovered that these mountains are made out of limestone. So limestone is a type of sedimentary rock that formed on the seabed millions and millions of years ago. And it's essentially like the shells and carcasses of the Dead Sea creatures. So it can be you know, like snails or fish. And essentially all of that gets compressed over time and then layers build up. And then when that African plate moved into the Eurasian plate, it pushed everything 
up to form um, what we know as the Swiss Alps today. So yeah, I mean it's just crazy to think that a million years ago this was all underwater. I mean, <laughs> and now we're sitting at like 3,000 meters above sea level. I just think it's really cool to know that kind of stuff. I think what's also quite unique about this area is that you can actually see you can actually see the rocks in the mountains. I think a lot of the mountains in Switzerland they're so covered with thick forests that you can't actually see the geology, you can't see the topography or really how it formed. But this really, um, you know, it's almost like rings of a tree. You can read so much history into that. And yeah, I think it's cool to be able to understand how landscapes formed around us. It's always been a big passion of mine. One day, one day I'll understand much more about the mountains where I'm hiking and then I will share that with you as well. But for now, let's go catch a sunrise.